it is so ultra convenient. You park it everywhere, you just get it and you go. What I like to show you today is not the Little Mermaid nor the Royal Palace. Those are on every tour. What I want to show you is something a little different right in the city center and very easily used, but something with a different touch. This is the maze of uh, Frederiksberg, a maze that is shaped in the center like one of the labels of uh, the Tupo beer brand and in some way it shows how well integrated beer is into uh, the Danish society. It's for free, it's fun and uh, very simple and then it's of course close to Frederiksberg Garden. If you walk around Frederiksberg Garden on a day like this, it is just where, where, where people from Copenhagen, they uh, go out relax. Without places like this we would not be able to breathe. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, the Lover's Bridge. People can sail on the channels, uh, you can rent a, a little rowing boat. The castle today is used, it's a part of the army, it's their officer's training school. And here in front you see how it rolls, not really rolls down, but there, there are different uh, stages and progresses towards the little lake. And sometimes there are concerts in here. And this is where children age from two to no, sometimes five, six years, they come and then they hang their comforters and uh, then they're supposed to never use them again. A lot of them will then uh, attach a little letter saying, uh, I wish something for Christmas or, or just uh, saying that now they have a little sister or a little brother, so now they're not going to use comforter anymore. This is not necessarily on TripAdvisor. And you come out here and you get another perspective on how the things live. No entrance fee, no tickets, no nothing. What you saved on uh, on entry tickets, you can uh, spend on a uh, good Danish Tuborg beer in one of the small uh, restaurants close to the garden here. <laughs>